man. I can never get bored of that view. So, as you can see, we're here in Podgorica still, but today we're actually going on a little journey. So we're going to a place called Kotor. I think that's how you pronounce it. Please do correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Now, Kotor is a, a little, I guess a seaside town, if you were to compare it to England. And it's where a lot of people go who are tourists. Now, I'm not one for touristy places myself, but I'm very curious to see what this place is like, purely because of the disparity of the comments. So some people say it's absolutely beautiful, and some people say it's overrated, polluted, boring. So it's interesting to see a place with such a contrast of views. So I'm not one to take a judgment on somebody else's review. I'm gonna make my judgment call based on what I think and what I see. So today, we're going to go to Kotor, and you can join me on this trip to see if it's actually worth it. So, two hour coach ride, let's go and get it done. So here we are, made it to the bus station. So, all we need to do now is go and locate our bus. I don't know how easy that's going to be because that does vary from place to place, but uh, here we go, this is the bus station of Podgorica, if you're interested. Uh, Dali Pichata English. Ah, super. Sorry, my Montenegrin is not very good. <laughs> pet, pet, five. Pet. Pet. Fala. Station. V? No, station fee. C. Oh, a station fee. Where do we pay this? Here. Here. Um, Mogli Platiti Katitsum? No, okay. Is there a card? Okay, okay, Fala, Fala. Station fee. All right, so there's a station fee, guys. So now we've got to withdraw money from this bank and uh, more than likely be charged an exorbitant amount of money for doing so. <laughs> so. I'll try and flip this, yeah, so what's Tammy's doing that, so, yeah, obviously, English is quite good here, thankfully, um, which, yeah, is good, because my Montenegrin is um, not the best, but we're on platform five, if you hear me say pets, that's the uh, Montenegrin word for five, as far as flex my language, to be honest, so I did have been practicing, we're going to take out ten euros, um, we don't need a receipt, let's see how much it's going to cost us, so they are going to charge us five euros for the privilege. All right, so it costs, what was it? Two, a, a euro, a two euros, so a euro each. So uh, yeah, we've got some tickets here, so we show the ticket. Sure. Hello, okay, thank you, Fala. All good London, my friend. So yeah, um, we're on platform five, which, uh, Peron five, there we go. I don't know if that's correct, Peron, Peron pet. <laughs> I think that's uh, five in the local language, but, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, everyone's everyone's really friendly, but yeah, just be just be a just be aware that there is a uh, a like a fee involved in using the station. Um, but as I say, you do get a rather nifty little receipt here, and it's only a euro, so I'm sure we can survive. And we did need change to be honest because we don't know how good uh, Kotor is. But I actually think that this is our bus right here, which is pretty cool. Not what I was expecting, but uh, right, let's get on. Fala, fala. <laughs> it's got our return on the back. Right, right. Yeah. Yes. Well, fala. Oh, um, we, we, we need this. It's got our ticket. Have a ticket. This one. <laughs> for the oh, car for, car for. for return. Yeah. Oh, you need this. Uh, Man, copy. A uh, copy. Copy. Yeah. Hey, what is Sikai? Sikai too. You will take photo. Photo. Ah, yeah, take photo. Take photo. Photography. Yeah. Yeah. Photography. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're getting on the bus now. Hopefully, there's a seat for us. Show me, 
Okay, so that confuses things a little bit because the ticket that we have we needed to print and um, we did. But then they took the ticket which was printed on two sides so I really hope we're getting home tonight because <laughs> if we're not I don't know what they're going to do. But we're going to march forward because we've got this far and we're hopefully make it home. All right, so our bus left without us, so now we've got to spend 16 euros to get to Kotor. Um, but we've started this journey and we're not going to end it here. So uh, we're going to buy a new ticket to get us to Kotor. Um, and we're going to just, uh, we, we couldn't take the risk. We was on the bus, the guy took our ticket, and uh, we honestly didn't know if a ticket that was like just on my mobile would be enough. And obviously Kotor is like two hours away from Podgorica. So if we get stranded there, it's going to take a lot of money to get home. So really the cost of buying this ticket versus the cost of uh, the potential cost it would have you know, been to us is negligible because <laughs> it would have been like probably 70 to 80 quid to get home or back to Podkoditsa from Kotor in a taxi. So we've got to cut our losses, but we're going to still go and pay for it. So let's do it. All right, so we're on a new bus now. This one's actually a bit better than the other one, isn't it, Sam? Well, wow, it's, it's definitely an improvement from the uh, previous one. This is uh, quite a bit bigger, and uh, bigger. it's definitely bigger. <laughs> and we got a seat, thankfully, because we were a bit worried about that—that that we won't get a seat. And we're on. We got our ticket printed out. We had to pay 50 cents. So what we had to do basically was we had to um, uh, send a copy of our ticket to the bus station uh, via their email address, and then pay them 50 cents. Um, and then they printed it out for us and now we have a copy of our ticket again um, and then we have to buy a new ticket for this particular bus ride which will take us to Kotor so we're still going to get there but uh, it's been a bit of a nightmare to get there but just waiting at the bus station now I think the journey should take around two hours and then uh, yeah hopefully it's worth it So we've made it to Kotor. I had to take the old air down because it's <laughs> it's boiling. I think we're looking at about 30 degrees. We're going to go this way, Tam, because uh, the only problem is with Kotor already is that it is crammed with tourists. Absolutely crammed. But we we are as well. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So you've got people going around on scooters who are trying to offer us boat tours. And nah, I'm good. I don't need a boat tour. So. Uh, the water's pretty crystal, crystal clear, but I'm going to try and give a fair view of this place. I'm going to show you the beauty, and then I'll probably try and break off of the uh, the tourist cycle area and go and look around the streets where the uh, where the residents live. Might have to put my hair bob back in shortly as well. <laughs> it's it's warm but windy, but uh, yeah, so far so good. It's uh, I, you know I don't think it's you know, people saying it's dirty and stuff like that. I don't. I don't think that's true, but the, the sentiment about tourists, that's definitely true. We brought two cans of cola and that cost us a whopping six euros. I could not believe it, but we're there and the woman was quite nice, so I didn't want to be rude or anything. So I just went along with it in the end. But So first thing I've noticed is this place is completely different to uh, Podgorica. Obviously, it's a coastal place for starters, but the sheer number of people. So I was aware that this was a touristy place, but uh, this is this is booming. It kind of somewhat reminds me of uh, Dubrovnik. Would you agree? So we're going through this uh, old gate here. Uh, this could take some time to get through, but I will persevere. So first thought so far, Tom. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. It does remind me of. Uh, Podgorica, uh, Podgorica of um, Dubrovnik in many ways, very similar style. This is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Look up there. Looks like there's some sort of a monastery up there. So yeah, this is similar to the old town of Dubrovnik. Uh, very similar. Um, 
very nice actually but incredibly touristic so uh, I won't spend an incredible amount of time here but I do appreciate the style it's very very nice yeah well oh, so uh Getting, uh, getting out of the uh, the hustle and bustle a little bit now, and uh, finally making it over to uh, the uh, the outskirts of the town, the old town. Which is a shame because it was genuinely really beautiful, but uh, just so so busy that you just couldn't really enjoy it. But wow, well, look at that! Very very good. So I think what I'm going to do now is uh, I saw this certain uh, wall looks like a, a city wall and uh, hopefully if they don't charge me to walk on it I shall go for a little stroll just up there and go and get a look at the city in a bit more of a panoramic view or oh, sorry the town in a bit more of a panoramic view here we go so made it try and real estate this bit but we managed to squeeze through before everyone uh, beat us to it but these are the city walls. There are some ruins up there as well, but there's no admission into them. We can't get up there. But uh, yeah, I think uh, it's a pretty decent place. So what we're going to do is just down there, the town's over there. We're going to go into the town and go and see how the people live. Hi peeps. Yeah, as you can see, it is me with the camera. Um, you know, I thought I'd leave Bob for the fortress and I'll go off and do, you know, just have a look around. And we've just walked along the, the walls of Old Town. Would I, would I recommend doing this? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's incredible. The views are amazing. Yeah, it's hot, very hot. And there he is, waiting for me. He looks a bit like, um, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Um, looks like Dracula stood there. Um, I'll flip the camera. And there he is. <laughs> well, we've just been into the old town. Yeah, the old town. Oh, mate, it was absolutely brown. It was mental. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't really like it myself. Um, I like the I like the beauty of it and stuff, but it was mm. just too crazy. Like you couldn't even move for space in certain parts of it. Um, and it was just yeah, like so much history and stuff has just been completely touristified touristified it's not a word but it's a word now um, <laughs> we'll make sure to put it in the dictionary yeah we're getting we we're getting the dictionary <laughs> um so yeah to be honest it's kind of ruined it for me a little bit um that that, in, that part of it but i'm um, you know not never really been that bothered about touristic parts of town either so uh i think what we're going to do is we're going to go off and go into the actual the, the actual town itself, not the old town, but this actual town, the new town, I guess you could say. I'm going to see if that's really good. But I'm sure Toby wanted to show you this, but yeah, we did manage to get a fridge magnet in the end, because we always do manage to get one. Um, so, another one for the collection. Right, so we're stopping for a bit of food because we've got like a two hour journey home, so we need to fill our bellies for that. And we've come to a place called Buxon, Bucon, B U C K O. I don't know if you can see it in there. The corner. I'll zoom in. <laughs> it should be in the top left corner. So as you can see, the prices zoom out because you were zooming to my face. Okay. Uh, as you can see, the prices are very, very reasonable. Uh, so I've got chivapi chibab here, which is like the mincemeat things, um, like the kind of like sausages, I guess, the kebabs. And then Tammy's gone for a yudos, which is obviously traditionally Greek. But this might be a Montenegrin interpretation. I've eaten the chips already. She has, yeah. And then we've got two uh, Sony Chayas, Sam Liacon. So two black teas with milk and then sugar as well. And then I've got some bread as well, which uh, I'm going to have with that. So I'm going to smash that, go through that. But if you want to come somewhere cheap when you're in Kotlaw, come here because this is the best place. We looked everywhere and this is the best place for prices. So I don't know if you can make it out, but that came up to 15 euros, that did. <clears throat> So, comparatively, 
the meal we had yesterday in the uh, the tourist trap restaurant cost us 47 euros admittedly we got quite a bit more than that we had a starter and stuff but I mean we had I had obviously chavapi chips bread two teas and Tammy had a euros and if we'd got a starter it still probably would have only come up to like 20 euros so we spent half of what we would have we, we paid in the tourist trap place so if that's not evidence that you need to break off the tourist trail sometimes in order to find a good deal then I don't know what is but we're now getting out of the touristy section and taking a walk out of the chaos and into the uh, the back streets and into a little bit more of the uh, the town of Kotor itself so I'm going to look at some of the prices in the uh, in the old town for comparison I think uh, a meal on its own just one meal would have been the same price that we paid for that entire meal we just had there so uh, yeah <laughs> I think that says it all really so if you're happy to save a few pennies I would probably recommend breaking out of the old town if you're going to visit Kotor or Kotor or whatever it is still got to work out how to pronounce it <laughs> but um as i say the goal now is to get out of the tourist hub and into the place where the people live their day-to-day -day lives because uh it changes a lot as you can see the buildings the style you've still got very much the beauty over here though the mountains in the background but uh i think there's a lot more to, to this place than just that i think uh there's a place where people live and there's a story to be told and it's a little bit like Dubrovnik when we went there I grew tired of the tourist area quite quickly and decided to go off the beaten trail and I found a really nice little address or village or whatever you want to call it it was a little town I guess up in the mountains or towards the mountains should I say and uh, it was so worthwhile doing it and there was hardly any tourists and that's when you know you're in the right direction when you stop hearing tourists <laughs> so I, I, I am a tourist myself I'm under no illusion that I probably contribute to the problem somewhat but I like to think of myself as someone who's a bit more eager to get out and uh, yeah spend time with the locals in the local places wow and I also think that by not doing so, by not going to these areas, you're doing it an injustice because you're not so showing the characteristics of a place beyond what all the tourists see. So I think it's important to have a look at both sides of the coin. But let's push on and see what else we have. So if you want further proof that you should break off the tourist area, I'm about to give it to you now. Look at that. There are no tourists here, spoiling that view. And there are no people taking those cheesy Instagram photos that you often see in the, the old town. But that is pretty unreal. So I don't know if, you know, that's what you think of when you see Montenegro, but that's certainly pretty incredible. And you can see the old ruins up there and again the sprawling mountains in the distance which to be honest the camera doesn't really do it justice to be honest it, uh, it might highlight highlight it but it doesn't really truly show just how magnificent that view is so definitely recommend getting off the beaten trail here right so it's official we've broke off the tourist trail we've done it we have now left the tourist areas and uh as I mentioned earlier, it is worth doing so because uh, you get what I would regard as a unique experience. And of course, you can also support local businesses. Uh, I did see a few bakeries and uh, cafes just coming up this hill here. And uh, we're now in a place called Moa. Not sure what that is, if that's a town or a little Probably place a or a suburb itself. But look at the houses really really nice and waking up to that view I mean in the end you'd probably it would lose its uh, wow factor but for us too that's pretty darn nice though we have seen a lot of mountains uh, over the past few years but they still are very nice because we don't have them where we live so uh, this is what life in a typical 
suburb street area of Montenegro looks like. Um, can we go down here? Probably not. <laughs> looks like someone's garden. I won't do that. I think they'd be in for a shock if they saw some random Englishman stood in their garden. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the water is very, very clear. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, generally a really nice, uh, nice, nicer atmosphere. It's a lot calmer. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't particularly, I'm, I've never been a fan of tourist areas. I mean, obviously it keeps people in work and stuff and it helps uh, towards the economy of a town or even a country, but I don't know, like, I do sometimes feel bad for the, the actual locals because can you imagine being from here and just wanting to go into your local old town and go and experience it, you know, a bit of your past and instead you're met with loads of people who ain't even bothering to speak your language or even attempting to, you know, and that's why I think it's important to learn at least a few words to say thank you, even if you just learn thank you. In, uh, in Montenegrin it's Fala. I don't think I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's close enough. People understand Fala. And uh, that gets a smile back because people really appreciate it. But uh, I'm in here where, we, where we had our lunch. Oh, her face lit up when you obviously like. You see, you, you, speak, you speak broken Montenegrin. <laughs> she spoke yeah. a bit of broken English. But the smile on her face because she tried. Yeah. That's all. Well, when we ordered, so I, when I ordered, I said, Mogali Dabiti Yedin Chivapi, which means, can I have Chivapis? If you've never tried them, definitely try them. They're really good. And then I said, uh, and, um, Dva Sony Chaya Samlia Molim, two black teas with milk, please. And then when I went to uh, pay the bill, I also said Mogali Platiti Katitsum, which means uh, can I pay by card? And then uh, I also said Ukusno, which means delicious. <laughs> We're walking on a rather busy road. And uh, not much uh, not much real estate when it comes to PATH. So uh, <laughs> that is the one downside of uh, perhaps going off the beaten trail, is that they uh, infrastructurally it's not really designed for foot traffic but nonetheless if you just take your time and slow it down a bit it becomes worthwhile but there you go people hey and this is a side of uh kotor kotor that you perhaps won't see because again a lot of people on youtube will go to the old town and they will stay there all day because they realize people there speak english very well and that's almost like a comfort blanket in many ways for people and so they're afraid to leave the areas. But uh, to be honest, if you don't, you're doing yourself a disservice because the actual, uh, the energy in these parts are quite different. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, you miss out on it if you don't. People over there are on the wrong side of the road a minute ago, weren't they, Tam? They were. <laughs> I just saw this bloke come past in a motorbike, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, like why? What, what are you doing over there? <laughs> People coming from a country where they drive on the, the right. right. No, they drive on the right side here, so it'd be the left side, the England side, we'll call it. Yeah, one of the very few countries that does drive on the left side, and it's always uh, quite jarring for us when we get uh, into Europe and uh, we're on the right side of the road. But then, actually, when you think about it, we're on the right side of the road. <laughs> Maybe we're on the wrong side of the road in England. Yeah, traffic's quite heavy. Nothing that we can't deal with. That's what you get over there, Tam. We'll push a final bit further forward and then uh, I think we're going to have to cut our losses and go back. But I saw this cool building over here that I wanted to go and explore. I really like the design of it, uh, the architecture. Uh, as, as you may know, I'm interested in architecture. and. You do get such a varying degree of architecture around here. And of course a pretty pretty decent backdrop. So yeah. Oh, just realised my camera isn't on correctly. I better fix that. Earlier I had my camera and uh it fell off 
my uh, so I have a cam I have like a, a stick that I hold my camera on just to stop myself from holding it because I used to film like this <laughs> and you'll notice it in my older vlogs because uh, I don't have something to, to hold on to so now I've got this uh, kind of camera stick I've got a bit more grip over things but wow look at that but uh, I was standing in front of this uh, patch of water and it just decided to fall off right in front of me <laughs> and uh, narrowly avoided falling into the water itself but as you can see here there's this building that I really like the look of. I saw it in the distance and uh, now to some, now it just may be an old damaged building. But for me, I think I kind of asked the questions as to what's the history of this place? You know, what did the building once do? What role did they play within the community? You know, to see guys, you may just see smashed out windows here and breaking, you know, stone. But to me, I think, what story does this place tell? you know and what role did it play in the community once upon a time but it's so crazy to see such a disparity you see this building here broken down and incomplete needing a renovation and then you see this beautiful scrawling landscape and it's uh just such a contrast and i think that's uh, montenegro in a nutshell really i think uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a country of contrasts so kotor kotor whatever it's called is it the terrible place that people make it out to be. Well, that depends how you look at it. So personally, for me, I weren't a fan of the old town one bit, was mm. you? I didn't like the old town. I liked the architecture and the style yeah. and the history, but it was very hard to enjoy it because it was just completely it was busy. There's just so, so too many tourists, yeah. which I do feel a lot. I feel very sorry for the locals because obviously that's a part of their history that they can't enjoy. But I think it truly shines in these parts here actually off the beaten trail Just so you stand in here and you've got the view of every all of this do you know what i mean it, it beats old town yeah 100 percent. i think this beats old town hands down this is what i i kind of feel is the real experience um and we only really made it partially i mean it's just over there the old town and so we came all the way down here and then obviously we ended up where we are now so uh everywhere it was a good little walk you, everywhere you look it's just mountain range yeah you've got mountains here you've got mountains there you've got mountains behind you Bob. a country of mountains very much but uh so for me i think that this is a lovely place mm. uh, i think the old town is worth looking at for the for, in terms of the history but i don't think it's worth staying in i think it's actually worth coming out and uh, exploring this part of it what about Absol you Tom? absolutely sorry yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, no, I agree. Um, yeah, the, the heat is taken out of me, so I'm a bit tired. Yeah, it's very, very it hot as well. Yeah, hot. so do, do be aware of that. Don't wear black if you're going to come here as well, because it does, it does take it out of you. <laughs> we don't wear any of any other colour. We well. don't wear any other colours, so yeah, we probably <laughs> should start doing that. That's a lesson for us. But anyway, we hope you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we hope this has influenced you to come and check it out for yourself. And uh, yeah. Please uh, feel free to leave a comment and let us know what you think if you've been here before. And if you're planning on visiting, please do let us know. And uh, we'll perhaps give you some suggestions of things you should do. But there we go.